Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And we've got a local beer to move off to Northampton, off to Bayonet Brewing. And we've got a birthday New England IPA from them. Um, and it is a can of their H Hour birthday New England IPA, clocking in at 6.8% ABV. It's got El Dorado, Big Secret, and Citra in this. Um, obviously, this beer was. Um, well, I'm going to read it to you. It says, Happy birthday to Bayonet Brewing. Uh, we're celebrating the only way we know how by bringing out a limited edition birthday brew. We've loaded this soft and juicy New England IPA with three amazing hops in the El Dorado, Vic Secret, and Citra to bring notes of passion fruit, pineapple, stone fruit, and citrus. We love a New England IPA, and so this style is long overdue. Thanks for your support over the duration of our first year. Um, here's to H Hour uh, CO2, is it? <laughs> here's to H Hour, C H H Hour CO2, I think it says. I can't read it in my eyes, so I was going, um, yeah, it's fantastic. Local brewery celebrating first two, one year in, you know, in the business. Um, I know that some of their beers have been starting to get everywhere. Um, this was picked up in Coxo, the Bear and Bottle. I know for a fact that um, I think you can get them in quite a few uh, outlets now. And I think there's a pub. There is a pub in North Allerton and what does. Um, I think all of them. Not too sure. I'm sure someone at Bayonet Brewing might comment on the video and tell me. So, let's crack it open. Oh, it's gone a little bit everywhere because I've been shaking it about. So, let's just pour it out. Might have to pause the video. Not in me, I might have to pause, pause, pause the bloody video. That should be all right. Should be all right. We got away with it. So, New England, New England IPAs. Um, what do I think? Well, I do like the style. It's always nice to see someone local you know, near me, a small brewery do it, because I think if you go to the supermarket, it's everywhere in the supermarket, this style. It's been flogged to death, actually, in the supermarket. So it's nice to get, you know, a beer of, of its style from a little, you know, from a independent brewery and see their take on it. So as you can see, that's what you get with a New England IPA. That chicken stock colour. Aroma, yeah. Definitely New England IPA. Stone fruits. You got that Vermont yeasty type of character you get with them. You get the you know, tropical fruit there. It smells decent. I'm gonna go in. So happy birthday, Bayonet Brewing. Here's to a few. You know, here's to more, more years. Cheers. Going again. That is lovely. That is. That is lovely. A beautiful, beautiful soft mouthfeel straight away. Just cushions, soft, you know, pillowy soft mouthfeel. Beautiful stone fruit bitterness, hints of tropical fruit there. And there's a lovely bed of maltiness as well on the back end. That. Is an absolute belter. For me personally, this is their best beer. Um, I think they've just nailed that. The lovely freshness about this beer as well. And also, I mean, you know, when you do go to the supermarket... And you look on the shelves in supermarkets, and you look at all these New England IPAs, there's a, quite a few of them which don't, 
you know, reached the mark of a decent New England IPA. You know, this beer puts a lot of these big breweries to shame. It certainly does. You know, every brewery, when they do a style of beer, is their own interpretation of it. Sometimes, though, when you get to breweries which supply supermarkets, that comes into account. The money. You know, and, you know, little tinker with the recipe here and there, you know, just to, you know, to shave the costings down and everything, which, you know, a lot of them do. Um, but when you go to, a, you know, a small independent brewery, do their own New England IPA, and it turns out to be a belter, you know, unbelievable. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> It's greed in a way on on the bigger, you know, with the bigger breweries who are trying to get a name for themselves on the supermarket shelf. But that is a lovely, honest beer. I'm waffling on, and I yeah, I'm six minutes in. I'm going again. That, my friends, is a belter. Beautiful mouthfeel, lovely um, taste profile to this. Highly recommend it. Definitely my favourite beer from Bayonet Brewing so far. The H Hour Birthday New England IPA. It's a lovely beer. 6.8%. You don't get the alcohol either. Very well hidden. Cracking stuff. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. And give that one a go. Fantastic. Bim bim.